Hi, I'm Ms. Hearn. Let's get started. In this video, we're going to talk about how to calculate unearned interest. And this relates to the Truth in Lending Act, otherwise known as the Consumer Credit Protection Act, which was passed in 1968, and it addressed two major issues. First, how can I tell the true interest rate a lender is charging? And second, how much of the finance charge am I entitled to save if I decide to pay the loan off sooner than originally scheduled? The Truth in Lending Act also standardized the so-called annual interest rate, or APR. The rule is that all sellers must disclose the APR when you ask, and also the contract must state the APR whether or not you ask. This helps to prevent confusion since the advertised interest rate might be given as compounded monthly or weekly, and we really want to know how much interest is going to be gathered as a percentage of the total amount each year. Now let's get back to unearned interest. If a loan is paid off early, remember the Consumer Protection Credit Act says that we need to know how much we get back. Well, the amount by which the original finance charge is reduced is called the unearned interest. And there are two common methods of calculating unearned interest, the actuarial method and the rule of 78. Now a borrower might not save all the unearned interest since the lender is entitled to impose an early payment penalty. We're going to be calculating the unearned interest. We won't use the actuarial method, but that is discussed in another video and a link will be provided at the end of this video in just a couple of minutes. We're going to look at how to calculate unearned interest using the rule of 78. You might be wondering, what tools do I actually need to do this calculation? There are three tools that you will need. First, an APR table. What's an APR table? It's a list of values. It relates the APR to the total number of scheduled monthly payments, which we represent as N, and the finance charge per $100 financed, which we call H. An APR table looks something like this. Now, APR tables do have their limitations. For example, what if the APR happens to be 8.2%, which doesn't appear on this table? In that case, there is a formula we can use, and I explain that in another video. But in this video, we're going to work an example where the finance charge is provided. So the APR table is the first tool that we need. The second tool is the unearned interest. The unearned interest formula is K times K plus 1 over N times N plus 1 times F. This is the unearned interest formula based on the rule of 78. With the APR table in this formula, you can find out how much interest is saved by paying off early. The third tool is to calculate the actual amount that you have to pay in that last payment in order to close out your account. And that's K plus 1 times R minus U. We'll discuss the meaning of N, K, U, F, and R as we explain how to use these formulas. Here's an example. Suppose you have a loan for four years with monthly payments of $185 and an APR of 9%. The original finance charge was $1,426. If you decide to pay it off in three years rather than four, let's find the unearned interest and the payoff amount. Here's the formula for unearned interest. Let's talk about what each of the variables represents. If we have a closed-end loan requiring monthly payments, which is paid off earlier than originally scheduled, then capital F is our original finance charge the amount of interest that we would be charged if we took the full amount of time to pay back the money. N is the number of payments originally scheduled, and K is the number of remaining scheduled payments after our current payment. If the original finance charge is not provided, that's when we get to use our APR table. Let's write down our formula and identify the values for each of the variables. U equals K times K plus 1 over N times N plus 1 times F. Well remember, K is the number of payments remaining after our current payment. We're paying off on the last payment of the third year, a year early. Since we're talking about monthly payments, that means that we're paying off 12 payments early. So K is 12. And similarly, N, which is the total number of payments we originally planned to pay, is going to be 48 because we originally planned to take four years to pay off our loan and four times 12 months would be 48. Finally, 
we were told our finance charge is $1,426. In this example, that amount is provided for us. If it had not been, we would have used our APR table. Let's plug in. Plugging in 12 for K, 48 for N, and 1,426 for F results in an unearned interest amount of $94.58. Take a moment to try to calculate this using your calculator. If you have any trouble, keep watching to see how to use your calculator to get this answer at the end of this video. Now let's talk about Part B, the payoff amount. A closed-end loan requiring regular monthly payments of the amount R can be paid off early along with the current payment. If the original loan had K additional payments scheduled after the current payment and the unearned interest is U, then disregarding any possible prepayment penalty, the payoff amount is given by K plus 1 times capital R minus U. Remember, we're talking about K payments being left after this one. So really, there are K plus 1 payments to be made. We multiply that times the amount of the regular monthly payment R, and then all we have to do is subtract the amount of unearned interest that we're actually saving by paying off early. So in our example, the unearned interest was already calculated to be $94.58. Let's find the payoff amount. Writing down the formula, payoff amount equals K plus 1 times R minus U, plugging in 12 for K, the same as we did before, and 185 for R because that's our monthly payment, and subtracting 94.58 gives us 2,405 minus 94.58, or $2,310.42. This is our total payoff amount. Now let's talk about how to use the calculator to evaluate the unearned interest formula. It's very important to pay attention to your order of operations anytime you're plugging in values to a formula. The order of operations tells us that parentheses come first. This doesn't just include parentheses though. Any operations within grouping symbols have to be done first. So for example, in our exercise, that fraction bar acts as a grouping symbol. After this, we'll do any exponents or radicals, but we don't have any of those in our exercise. The next step is to do any multiplication and division. And then finally, any addition and subtraction from left to right. Now your calculator does not necessarily interpret what you type in the way you mean it. We kind of have to guide the calculator through the order of operations. When I have parentheses in my exercise, is to do as much as possible in your head. For example, in this formula, you always have to add 1. So before I look at my calculator, I'm going to go ahead and change this inside these parentheses to 13 and 49. This at least reduces the amount of grouping symbols that I'm going to need. Now, as I mentioned before, this fraction bar counts as a grouping symbol. These parentheses, now that I've performed the operation inside, are indicating multiplication. So in order to tell your calculator to multiply 12 and 13, multiply 48 and 49, and then complete the division, we need to use our parentheses. We'll multiply inside of parentheses 12 times 13, and then divide, which is what the fraction bar means, by 48 times 49. Once I get that answer, then I'll go ahead and multiply times 1,426. So let's start by entering our first parenthesis, and then we're going to say multiply 12 times 13, close parenthesis, divided by parenthesis again, 48 times 49 close parenthesis equals and now we're going to multiply this value times 1 4 2 6 equals we have $94.58 just as we expected I hope this video was helpful to you if it was please remember to like it I take requests too so if you have any questions leave them in the comments below I want you to be successful and I'm here to help. You can also follow me at Miss Hearn Math or visit me on Facebook at miss.hearn.mathematics.